one step at a time. What's going on my dudes? One Step here with Immortal Kombat 1 theory that is so backed up, it's basically just true. Like, yeah, it's still a theory, but come on now. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get right into it. So we all know, Ed Boon confirmed. Ed Boon came out in an interview and said, we even have the quote here. He said that basically they were working on Justice 3, but then they realized, oh, we're switching engines from the Unreal Engines, right? And they're like, oh shit, we can't have that much time between our Mortal Kombat games we gotta just go make Mortal Kombat the next one. And then they ended up calling it Mortal Kombat 1 as we know. But point is they were doing Injustice 3 beforehand, which makes sense because it went Mortal Kombat 9, Injustice 1, MKX, Injustice 2, MK11. So we all thought already the next game was Injustice 3. And in the beginning it was, but again, they switched it. But they switched it so hastily that they kind of just kept the blueprint that they were already working with. Like that's why the Mortal Kombat 1 intros look very similar to the Injustice Clashes. You see right here, this is a Mortal Kombat 1 intro. You know, the whole like, oh no, I'm gonna beat you up. Oh no, I'm gonna beat you up. It looks exactly like the Injustice Clashes that they did. It's cause it came from the Injustice blueprints they were working with. That's also why the Fatal Blows in Mortal Kombat 1 have like an animation now because in Injustice, all the supers had some form of an animation. You know, they'd go, Whoa! and then they would, do their, they would do their super, right? Well, as we know in MK11 and so on, the Fatal Blows never had a really animation it was just more a hit and then it would go into the fatal blow where now mortal kombat 1 suddenly has animations to thus start the fatal blow or the super where did that come from i wonder the injustice blueprint that's where all this to say that i was watching the rain gameplay breakdown the other day and i thought oh my gosh this is aquaman like i was an aquaman main for both injustice 1 and 2 so i trust me i know what aquaman i know he, i know my boy here i know what it looks like I know his moves and here's my guess they were working with the character models when they were switching to Mortal Kombat and they're like okay well Aquaman deals with water so who can we give you know essentially his blueprint his like his character model too and they're like oh we have a water ninja we'll just give it to rain boom perfect i mean it does fit quite well yes but have you ever wondered why rain suddenly has a staff he's never had a staff he's always been the water ninja and now all of a sudden oh he, don't get me wrong it's a dope design i love the new design for rain but where'd the staff come from well aquaman had to try it and they couldn't really get rid of a giant weapon like that so like all right we'll just give rain a freaking staff again it works it's great but have you ever wondered where it came from like right here the staff this looks like like it could turn into a try. I mean, honestly, the stance is it kind of the way he's holding it, the way he's standing is is very reminiscent, very familiar, very similar to the way the Aquaman would stand and kind of form himself in Injustice. I mean, obviously they made him very unique. You know, they gave him his very own special normals, his special moves, but you cannot deny he gained inspiration from the character model he's modeled after, which is Aquaman. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it to really show you a comparison, but for those that played Injustice a lot, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Rain's roundhouse kick, the, the around the world kick he does here at the moment. The animation he does, watch this, he kicks him, that kick is the kick that Aquaman would do. That is the exact same kick Aquaman would do when kicking you to the background that you would bounce back into a combo. That is the exact same kick, the, the form, everything. They use that kick, that animation, that form to give Rain his around the world kick, but it comes from Aquaman's kick from Injustice. And here they're showing off Rain's kind of geyser move. It's, it's, it's pulling up a geyser from the ground. Guess what Aquaman has? Look at this. He has it. So Rain has a geyser. Bop, bop. Guess what Aquaman had? Aquaman always had either in Injustice 1, they had the trident that came out of the ground to hit you like a far away projectile. And then in Injustice 2, he has the tentacle that comes out of the ground and grabs you, right? So they just gave Rain another move that comes out of the ground by slamming the staff down. It's just they're calling it a geyser now. Look at that. Boom, boom. That move was pulled from Aquaman's trident or tentacle move that came out of the ground like that. If you need more proof that Rain is Aquaman from Injustice, here's one last nail in the coffin right here. They gave Rain a water shield. You guys are gonna see right here, Rain, boom, water shield. It also, it kind of just absorbs projectiles. If you enhance it, it moves with you. That's a cool, unique ability. But the point is he's got a water shield. I guess who else had a water shield ability and a water shield special move in Injustice. That's right, Aquaman did his down down that was a water shield and they just kind of 
transferred that move over into Rain's move set and gave him a water shield and then just built upon it. I have undenying evidence that Rain comes from Aquaman's model and I hope on my life that maybe one day Ed Boon or any of the devs see this and go, oh yeah, yep, that, that's exactly what we did. Uh, one step, you caught, you caught us and yep, that, that's 100% true. And it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. What's so funny is when I was playing the Mortal Kombat 1 stress test before they confirmed any of this, I was playing in and my, the whole time I was thinking, man, this, this doesn't feel like MK11 at all. It actually feels more like Injustice. And now we know why. As a previous Aquaman main, I'm almost obligated to main Rain now. Even aside from the similarities, Rain does look freaking awesome, dude. You can't deny that at all. He looks freaking sick. I don't know, guys. This is just my theory, but let me know down below. What are your thoughts? Do you think my theory is correct? Do I have good points? Do you disagree or agree? Let me know your thoughts down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe for more content and take it one step at a time.